Welcome back, everybody, to Earthbound. Today... Today, we'll have a bit of a short recording session, quite honestly. Because all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going into... the next, I guess, dungeon of sorts. I need to talk to you. Base secret! Base behind Grapefruit Falls. Password, I tell. Belchman say, say password. Then stand still, wait for three minutes. Okay, whatever, dude. Alright, my... My inventory is completely... Completely full. Like, it's not just full, it is super full, so... What I am actually going to do... Is I'm going to call up the uh, Escargo Express and leave a couple of items behind. Uh, oh shit. I did not want to do that. Let's go with pickup. Alright. Now we just wait for a little bit. Just wait a little bit. Alright. I can cover the bill. Okay, so he can take up to three things, so... I'm gonna have him take the backstage pass. Uh... What else won't I need? I somehow did not sell the fucking copper bracelet. I'll have to fix that. Uh, we'll go with the sugar packet. I won't need that. And I don't know how I haven't sold some of these items, but whatever. Uh, the travel charm. Is correct. Okay, I need to go back to the shop because I gotta sell some of this shit. I don't know how I didn't sell it, but you know, I was at the end of a very taxing and tiring recording session with all the all the shit that happened. Okay, so let's sell some shit. Let's sell the Holmes hat. Let's also sell... Can I sell the pump gun? Yes, I can. Okay. Cool. Alright, sell. Sell the copper bracelet. Alright, that should, uh, that should free up some inventory space, because we're going to be picking up, uh, some items and shit. When we're at our next destination. Still have those vials of serum, because Bizzo here isn't at level, uh, 24 yet. All right. Now to backtrack through. And now that we have a full fucking party, the violent roach will not actually do much. Like seriously. Jeff's level 20, that's good. Some good growth there. More roaches that I can just kill with ease. Like, jeez, don't even bother to use PSI on this. Damn, son. There we go. Alright, 
All right, now I believe there was a room. Yes, this is right up here that I skipped. Let's see what's in here. A bottle rocket. I am going to uh, inventory manage. Give that to Jeff. And I think I know exactly what I'm going to use that bottle rocket on. So, not this roach. That'd be a waste. Just a waste. Don't use bottle rockets on mooks unless you absolutely have to. Alright, we can't really avoid some of this shit, so... I'm gonna say fuck it and burn it all. Crocodile is the bigger threat, which is why I'm choosing to go after it. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna have to do a life up on Bizzo here. And look, there's a butterfly right there. So I can actually afford to use Beta and get it maxed out. How's everybody else? Hall is fine. Jeff could use a life up. And I figure since there's a uh, butterfly right there, why not? Magic butterfly, if you haven't been paying attention, uh, restores 20 PP to all those that can use uh, PSI powers. Making them very handy. Uh, so fire didn't do very well on the, uh, crocodile, so let's try freezing it. There, that does a lot more. So use freeze on crocodiles. Now I'm level 23, I'm one level away from healing beta. Paul is level 19. It gets fire beta. Speaking of betas. And now we have another photo man thing. Like I said, I haven't been keeping track of how many of these things I have. I really should go back through my videos and my videos for this playthrough and see how many I have, because I want to get all 32. Like, it doesn't really do anything. I just want to say, oh, I got all 32. Because there's 32 set locations that you pass. And such. Okay, so go behind the waterfall. Say the password! And you literally have to wait here for three minutes. I'm gonna grab something to drink. I'll be right back. Alright, so we have waited the three minutes, and we now enter this base here. Of course I brought fly honey. And hey look, more easy enemies for me to kill. These are foppies. Foppies don't really do much. Like seriously, they don't really do very much. And they're, they're easy enough to kill. And uh, they give you a lot of XP. So, if you want to do some grinding, this is, the, this is the place to do it. At least at this point. Just level 21! Alright, now there's going to be all these zombies in here. These zombies. All the all the zombies. All right, so we're just gonna fucking use gaming. We'll go fire beta and shoot that guy. I 
This should actually do it. There we go. See, I know when to use my psychic powers. All right, let's see what's in here. It's a bomb. Cool. And more foppies. Oh man, <laughs> that was gonna be perfect. Like no chance, but nope. I have to fucking miss. Ah well, who 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 gives a fuck? I forget what's down here. There's more foppies down here. Yes, all of you! Instead of just wasting time, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just wipe them all out. That should do enough. Like, these things are super easy to beat. Like, even by just bashing, you can beat them real easy. And with six of them here, that's a lot of XP. Paul is level 20. Hitting some good growths here. It's the level of good growths. And I mean really good growths. Tired, but so good, ding. See these, these poor Mr. Saturns here. They're all like enslaved and shit. That's no good. All right. Actually, let's just go with PSI, like right off the bat. Yeah, fire, I think, does may do more damage. See, this is the reason I'm using PSI in this point at this point, because those enemies there, they can blind you, so. So let's, let's go with another one of those. And it's just gonna keep wasting its turns, which is why I'm not even bothering with, uh... This is why I don't bother with healing Alpha in battle. Because the uncontrollable crying status effect goes away the second you exit battle. And now we're magical level 24, the level I was talking about. And I was talking about it because... Not only is it a great fucking, uh, growth, but we get healing beta which can cure, which has the powers of uh, healing alpha, but can also cure some other things like, like poison. Meaning I won't have to fucking, uh, carry around three liters of vials of serum. Yeah, yeah, you just keep doing your thing. Yeah, just attack. Don't try to go with status effects. That's 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 good. Good little enemy. And he left a bomb. Cool. What's up here is going to totally be worth it. Alright, who has an insecticide spray? I do. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. Let's 
Paul has a bomb. I want to save my the bombs for the boss. So... I forget how good Freeze is on it. Okay, Freeze is really good. Use Freeze. Use freeze instead of fire on the little piles. There we go. Eh, just another slimy little pile. Who, who, who gives a fuck? You're not even worth freeze beta. Seriously. Oh man. There we go. Paul is 21! Offense up, Alpha! I really don't use stat boosting, uh... PSI so much. Alright. Bash you. Actually, no. Bash you. Freeze you. Shoot you. Good solidification. Now we go into a bash fest. Damn. Alright, let's see if one of these will actually hit. There we go. Alright, there's three things here. How is my inventory looking? One spot, three spots, four spots. Okay. It's a vital capsule. I'm going to give the uh, vital capsule to... No, not actually give. I'm going to use it on Paula because Paula desperately needs good HP growths, so. Any increase to vitality will will do wonders. It's an HP sucker, which uh, I believe Jeff can use, so. So I will give that to Jeff. And then in here is a calorie stick. Good, so I don't have to use uh, PSI to heal Jeff. I think I'm going to give that to Jeff. Use on Jeff. Alright. Oh, shit. Want freeze on you. Uh, didn't solidify. Oh well. Alright, bash. Freeze you and do that. Give the piles no chance. Alright, let's let's not take any chances. Life up on Paula. Okay, maybe not. Jeff's level 23! Getting some good XP here. 
Good, good stuff. Okay, that's a green screen. I'm not about to question that. Usually encountering an enemy after just getting off a ladder results in a fucking red screen, because... Because your back is turned and shit. Okay, I am not concerned about the psychic points at the moment, because there is a butterfly in here. So I'm going to life up everybody. And then... This thing will just infinitely respawn if I exit and re-enter the room. So watch, I exit. Re-enter. And there it is again. So I could just keep doing this until uh, psychic points are maxed out. And that will happen with two more. So be right back. All right, everybody's all maxed out. Let's let's continue. And you know, completely go left when I totally had the control had the D-pad going down. No help for you. You get no help. No chance. There is no password. Whatever, dude. Too easy. Like all the others. Level 25! It's just an, uh, just an HP and PP growth. Which I'm not about to complain about. And here he is! Okay, who's got the... Paul has got the jar of fly honey. I want to give that to Bizzo. Want him to use the jar of fly honey and have Paula spend her first turn using uh, freeze instead and stuff. But first, this nastiness. Jesus. Good lord. Learn to control yourself. Okay, so we're fighting Master Belch. A battle made really easy if you use the Jar of Fly Honey. And like I said, I'm going to use Freeze. And I'm going to have Jeff use the Bottle Rocket we got earlier. The bottle rocket. So he's nauseous. I forget if healing beta can cure nausea. I'm gonna try it. Try it on Jeff. Meanwhile, I'm going to continue the freezingness. So that's the PSI that does the most damage. There we go. Does kill. Uh, does hear. Does cure nausea. Okay. So I'm gonna throw bombs at this thing. I'm gonna have Paula continue her freeze magic. And, uh. Jeff. Jeff is a big bottle rocket, but I don't wanna waste it, so. Freeze. 
See, if you have the jar of fly honey and you use it in this battle, he won't fucking... He'll maybe get one attack off. All told. But then he'll just get lost in all the fly honey. And it's like, oh my god, fly honey! The Manny Manny Statue of Foresight. Whatever, dude. All right. So now we're gonna head back over here. And that was a pretty nasty fight, so let's just wash the freaking stink off, because seriously. Just hang out in here. Walk around. There we go. So that's the, uh, that, uh, that's the hot spring mechanic. I guess you could say. Oh, there's one Mr. Saturn in here. I didn't talk to him. I think it's this guy. That said he would give you a present if you defeated the thing. It's a cup of life noodles. And a Mr. Saturn coin. And a... And a stag beetle. So... The Mr. Saturn coin... An other thing. Look at that! Look at that increase. I'm gonna have uh, Paula keep it because she desperately needs increase in defense. I'm not saying she's necessarily weak or anything, it's just she doesn't have that much HP. Uh, shoot. Uh, that's the doctor. Shit, I don't need the freaking doctor. I keep forgetting which place is which. Okay. So, we're gonna sleep. Get to slumber. Oh, Jeff's IQ was high enough to fix the broken air gun, and it became the Magnum air gun. Let's see what that, uh, does for, uh, Jeff's attack. Jeff's, uh, offense increases it by a further four. Hey. Can't go wrong with that. Anyway. I'm gonna give Dad a call here. And, uh, we'll save. And next time, on Earthbound, we will, uh, go for that, uh, third, your sanctuary location, which is near here, and we can access it now. Yeah. Remember, you know, the whole overarching objective of this game? Yeah, we're gonna continue with that, so see you then.